Welcome to week 38 of our prayer journey. This week, we're going to ask God to help us commit our work to him. This can be challenging because a lot of times our work can feel very void. For example, I don't spend all of my time doing ministry. In fact, I spend the majority of my working hours working for a secular company that makes money in the world. It's not focused on the things of God. It's not a bad company. It's a good company. But it's not pursuing the kingdom of God. It's pursuing worldly gain. And that can feel very disheartening at times because I spend so much of my time focused on just completing my responsibilities so that I can earn money to take care of my family. And that's the case for most of us. The vast majority of Christ followers are not called into full-time ministry. If you're a Christ follower out there and you have a job and you go to work every day in the, in the working world, then you know what I'm talking about. And you know how sometimes you can come home from maybe a, an amazing ministry event or a camp or, or a retreat and you're just impassioned and filled with fire for God and then you go to work and work just seems empty and void because you're not experiencing God the way you were when you were taking time out of your schedule at that retreat or event or ministry or whatever it was. And so that can be disheartening. But again, let's look at Psalm 37 and see what the scripture has for us. In verse 5, it says, Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will act. He will bring forth your righteousness as the light and your justice as the noonday. In other words, what this scripture is telling us is, if you're working a secular job, if you're working a job out there in the world that doesn't seem like it's doing anything for the kingdom of God, trust the Lord. He put you there for a reason. He has you doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing, whether that's sales or service or customer support or any one of the thousands of jobs that exists out there. He has you doing that for a reason, and he wants you to fulfill your calling there, whatever that is. He wants you to be obedient in that job. So this week, commit your work to the Lord. Ask him to take your mundane, secular work that you do every day to support your family and to bring something beautiful out of it for the kingdom. Ask him to make eternal treasure out of temporal work and commit that work to him and do it with all your heart because you're doing it unto the Lord and you're doing it to please him and because he has called you to that work specifically.